I will show you how to use Garmin Tour 1.2 to create simple cloth like this. So let's start with the new scene. And with Garmin Tool you have to use 2D Bezier Carves. So we will use uh, Circle. And in the cloth properties, I will, uh, in the Bezier Carve properties, I will set this to 2D. And Field Mode cannot be known. So let's switch to back. So now it, just, it is just a matter of modeling cloth and uh, we can model just one side because later I will use mirror modifier. Now it is just a matter of symmetrizing this and putting uh, close to the character body. Uh, and then you can just duplicate and make the back part and model the, model the sleeves. I already made them in here. So next step is creating sewings. For that we have to create a garment and in here we edit and create sewings using this button. So now, now I'll just click on the pattern, then on the segment and uh, next we select target pattern with left mouse button. I can scroll to flip and fix the direction of the sewing and left click to select target, uh, target segment. So let's just repeat and after a few seconds, everything will be connected. Okay, so now I finish making the sewing, so I can just press enter to save this. And in this case, I want to also add pocket. So this, this mesh will be projected and sew it together with this front sewing pattern. So to do this we just edit pockets and now select the pocket object, in this case this one, and then we select the target object. And so in this case I want to sew this to the front part. And now I just left click to disable the sewings I don't want to be there. And now I save this by pressing enter and finally enter to finish editing so, uh, pockets. Uh, in this case I don't want to add any pins, but pins are basically similar to sewings, except you just create one single edge that will stitch together two points, but in this case I don't need them. And also in here you can see that we have 15 sewings and one pocket mesh. Now it's time to generate final mesh. I'm, I want to make this, make this from quads and resolution maybe slightly bigger. 76 should be okay and let's generate the mesh. So the mesh will be generated in the new collection and uh, if I reset the timeline and show you the wine frame, we have something like this. Maybe I will increase the resolution a bit more and uh, now it is uh, we can simulate this by pressing uh, shift spacebar. And okay, there are a few problems. The first one is that the, this part and the sleeves are not wrapping around the character. So we can fix that in the garment uh, tool cloth properties. For each sewing pattern we can add, add bent modifier. So I want to add this for sleeve, uh, for second sleeve and for this belt part. So let's generate mesh again. And now you see they wrap around, uh, except I want to increase the strength of the wrapping. So I will bump up to 40, 400 degrees for one sleeve, 400 degrees for another sleeve, and for the belt, let's see what works. So something like this seems better. So let's play simulation again. So it still doesn't work, it is because the collision distance is too big. So I already set collision distance on the body, but on the cloth I have to manually set this Usually 0 0.02 is uh, enough, and let's simulate this again. Okay, so it's still not perfect, and uh, the cloth is going to the body, because we have low quality steps, so let's bump this maybe to 20, and let's simulate this again. Okay, so now you see that the cloth is actually sticking on the character, and uh, I want to make this bottom part uh, shrink slightly when wrapping around the character. So for that I can use the belt vertex group that was automatically generated 
by the add-on. So I use this belt vertex group and if I want I can manually increase the shrinking factor for this bottom part or if I press initialize simulation it will automatically uh, animate the slow increase of shrinking over time. So let's see how this works now. And you can see that the bottom part, uh, part is now shrinking around the chest of the character better. One final thing to fix is the the pocket is going through the the front uh, saving pattern, and uh, it is because we don't have self collision on the cloth enabled. Uh, so again, the distance collision distance on self collisions is too big. To, so I set this also to 0.0. .0. 02. So now it should be colliding with the with the rest of the cloth. Simulation will be slightly slower, but you can see it is now not clipping and going through the rest of the character. Uh, so yeah, that covers the basics how to create garments with uh, Garment 2 1.2. See ya.